Hi, welcome to 13 Not Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing Blood for Flesh, directed by Alex Hernandez. It's about 56 minutes long and stars Erica Lopez, Juan Manuel Martinez, and Luis Navarro. And at the film, we'll get into the budget here in a minute. Uh, synopsis on this film a family with a strange bond, an umbilical cord that breaks when, when a group of ferocious cannibals begins to persecute the only woman who is part of it. Extreme decisions will turn into acts of torture and desire for pleasure. One by one, they will be in the sights of the cannibals until every moral of the family is broken. All right, now. I want to get into th this film is really artsy and the artsy is not really my thing. Artsy uh, is, it, but having said that, and I want to talk about symbolism in this film because with it being a different culture and me and not, not being able to understand the language and sometimes the subtitles didn't really uh, make sense to me for some reason. Maybe I'm just stupid. I might be retarded, you know? But uh, I will have to say that if there was an Oscars for extreme horror, that this would be nominated probably. The film is told in six chapters. So after each chapter, you'll see Roman number one, Roman number two to start the next chapter. And it uh, changes the vibe of the film with each uh, when one chapter ends and starts a new chapter. The... Oh, we're going to talk about the budget. And I want to talk about the budget right now. They did this film on $5,982 USD. That is fucking amazing. And this is something I talked about the other day on social media. I had made a post that said that it's more amazing to see what an indie film can do with $500 than it is to see what Hollywood can do with millions. And I, this holds true when you watch this film. It is amazing what they can do with so little money. The effects, the gore, the acting, props to the actors. There was not a lot of dialogue in this film. The dialogue was very, uh, it was uh, not dialogue heavy at all. And very little dialogue, but the actors did a great job of showing emotion and uh, getting getting you to feel what they were feeling. There was, uh, it's told in six chapters. The lighting I thought was cool during the daytime. The 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 lighting would change with the moves. Like if something was happening, it'd be red, and then it would go back to normal after everything was uh, done. I thought that was a really cool effect. The uh, like I said with the I, I didn't get a lot of the symbolism. Uh, it went over my head a little bit I, to see the the director's vision, but with the. Uh, you know, like I said, different uh, culture. And that might be a culture thing. Maybe just I just didn't get it. But it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the ride. And I want to tell you why I enjoyed the ride. The effects were fucking great. I loved what he did with so little time. 56 minutes. I want to tell you what they fit into this film. They fit in incest. <laughs> they fit in rape. They didn't just rape the girl. They raped the dude, too. <laughs> I mean... They got abortion. Uh, uh, this is this is a lot of stuff for so little a cast. There are three main cast members. Then you got the cannibals. The cannibals you didn't see a lot of them, so it was mainly up to the three cast members to tell the story. The uh, one of the uh, first attacks of the girl attacking the father. So you got the father, the brother, and the sister. The the you got the first attack I guess I mean it kind of shows a little bit of the cannibals at the first shows baby being born which uh, I guess it's the girl in the film being born and then, and it kind of fast forwards I guess but the first attack would be the girl attacking the father now I don't really I mean the girl seems like she went a little loco but and uh, it kind of skips around like uh to the next chapter and stuff i don't remember exactly the order of the chapters i do remember uh it shows one where they're captured by the cannibals and you got the girl getting raped you got the cannibals eating some eating animals or something and then raping the girl one cannibal's raping the girl one cannibal's raping the father 
not the father, the brother, when Cannibal's uh, raping the brother. And then it shows him uh, back. And then you got the abortion scene where um, she it shows her stitching herself back up, vilical cords all over her, her stomach. The, uh, the You got one, oh my God, the fucking mirror scene. Oh, how did I fucking even I forget about the mirror scene? She's standing in front of the mirror, naked, rubbing her face and rubbing makeup all over her fucking body, and then grabs a fucking box. I don't know what's in the box. What's in the box? And, and it's got burlap on it. There's a hole in the box, and then she, naked, squats down on the box, and it looked like something's licking her. <laughs> I think it's a fetus, you sick motherfucker, Alex. I love it. I love seeing people around the world just as sick as me and come up with some fucked up shit. But what was in that box? She's getting off on Erica, you did a hell of a job <laughs> of selling that scene. Because I believed it. I believed what you was doing right there. And, and she's sitting on the box getting off. I didn't know. I had to watch this film a couple of times. First time, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know she was fucking having an abortion right there or what. But uh, this, uh, I got it the second time. Okay, I think. But it's a fucked up scene. Probably one of the most fucked up scenes in the movie. And then there's a scene where they... I don't know how they got the dad tied up. Dad did a hell of a job in the movie. Whoever the dad was, he was cool. The they hang the, the brother hangs the dad upside down and fucking strips him naked and I think cuts his dick off. You really can't see it because they're kind of hiding the effects, but I'm, I'm thinking they cut his dick off because that's what I would have done. Or cut the, and it shows the blood coming down his face, then they let him go, and then he goes back in there and there's his sister. His sister's wanting to fuck him up, I think. But... Uh, and uh, he can't he can't do it. I don't know. But he's like, help me in to want to go out there and cut him or something. I don't know. But she ends up fucking the brother. <laughs> so you got this whole incest scene right here. And then it shows the camera angle from inside the girl's vagina and the dick going in and out. I was like, oh, shit. They used that that scene. <laughs> that shot. That is that shot. That's, uh, uh, that was a that was a weird shot, <laughs> but I've I've seen it in other films before, so it's nothing new, uh, for me on that. But you know, so you got dicks getting cut off, you got incest, you got the from the inside of the vagina shot, you got her uh sitting on a a fetus licking her shit or something, <laughs> and like all this is fit into 56 minutes so how could you not have a good time with this the music was on point i thought the music was really cool it kind of set the mood it, it was uh different the music was different i kind of liked it the best scene of the film though i thought was the ending i mean some of y'all might like the more fucked up shit but the ending to me i thought was fucking cool because it kind of reminded me of like a western kind of feel with out there in the fucking desert i thought the actors did an excellent job out there like that i mean half of them's naked running around barefoot the the amount of uh i, I mean i hats off to the actors for going through all this stuff because on a five six thousand dollar budget and you've got actors doing this fucking good doing this the things that they do out there it is fucking amazing and this is why i love indie more than i fucking love hollywood and i always will for the shit they go through for such less money these motherfuckers in hollywood getting paid millions of dollars six thousand dollar budget that's it to make this motherfucker and to do as good at a job with the gore the actors selling everything the way they do i fucking love it man but the ending scene i'm not gonna tell you what happens but there's a tree tied somebody's tied to a tree and that right there was a very cool scene no music it's just it's just the person tied to the tree and the person tying it to up to the tree. And then there's something else happens after that. So you get all this and the fucking payoff at the end was fucking awesome. Uh, so I definitely recommend this movie and I re recommend you go get it from Tetro video. Look at that. Uh, I, you know, I like these book boxes. If you've got a region B player, all region player, look at that artwork on the front. It's fucking awesome. It looks so fine. Don't you agree? Go to Tetro. You can still get these. I think they're still available. It comes with a poster. Cool disc art. Definitely uh, something to check out. Like I said, even though the RC stuff ain't for me, I still enjoy the ride. Uh, I'm 
I'm more, uh, I'm not as uh, into the artsy films as I did, but I still enjoyed this film. So check it out. The one thing that I do have that I could complain about in this film, and, and I think the director knows it too, is the lighting. So you're out there in the middle of nowhere, and it looks like you only had like one light or something. So a lot of the scenes are dark. It's, it's real dark at the night shots. So if, if you buy this, make sure that if you're going to watch it during the day, you got to black everything out or to see what's going on in the film. I had a tough time seeing what was going on on the film the first time I watched this. why I had to watch it the second time. Or watch it late at night with no lights on at all. Because any glare on the TV, kind of like, I couldn't see what was going on with some of the shots because of the lighting, the bad lighting. But you live and learn. And hopefully he can get some better lighting. But like you said, it was working with a lower budget. Shit happens. You got to do what you got to do to get, get, you, get the job done. But go check out the film. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy it. And I appreciate y'all hanging with me. And y'all come back and hang again sometime.